The top trends for Etsy in 2024 are here. Today, I'm going to bring you the top trends for Etsy in 2024, and none of these trends are things that I found on E-Rank or Everbee. These are trends that I actually found outside of Etsy. Why is that? Why don't we just go to Everbee or E-Rank to look for what's trending? Because once something is trending on Etsy, you are late to the party. We have to remember that Etsy is actually one of the last places to get trends. So if you are just chasing what is already trending on Etsy, you are six to eight months too late. So instead, what I teach people is how to find trends that are not yet on Etsy so that you can bring those trends to Etsy and really be a market leader. Because I believe that just chasing bestseller listings is not a real business strategy. We are not in the game of chasing other people's success here. So here in this YouTube video, I'm going to present you with the first five trends. And if you want to get access to the next five trends, just click on the link that we've posted in the description box and the comment section, and that will get you exclusive exclusive access to the last five trends. If you're new here, my name is Dylan Jarris. I've made over a million dollars in profit on Etsy and my entire background is corporate e-commerce. So I take those corporate e-commerce principles, I apply them to Etsy and I've taught over 2000 Etsy sellers how to scale their businesses using these real e-commerce strategies. Let's just jump right into it. The first trend will be bow accents. Now there are so many ways that you can incorporate that into your shop. I would say about 50% of Etsy shops could incorporate this trend into their product mix. So we see the bow trend popping up everywhere at some of the most trendy retailers, but here's an example um, from Anthropology. You can see these are large classic hair bows. You can see the colors, they're right, they're packing value into that main photo by, by picturing multiple. You can see they have two different sets of three really trending colors as well. You can see one of my favorite boutiques is also playing with this uh, as an accent. So this is more of an accessory that they are showing attached to different things. And they're showing it in different ways. So mini bows, full-size bows. They mentioned you can put it on wine bottles, on wreaths, on large gift boxes. This is a very hot color right now. Um, you're even seeing it at Target, right? Bows that are now accents on scrunchies. So, you know, scrunchies were really big, but now the bow accent, we're seeing that come into play. Another place we're seeing this is in jewelry. Jewelry is a great place to have bow accents. And we're even seeing it carry through to wall art. So more whimsical feeling wall art that is almost ballet inspired for toddler rooms, children's rooms. And we're also seeing it on Etsy come into play in mugs. See, you can take these trends and put them pretty much onto almost anything. So if you're doing print on demand, you're like, okay, I can't put actual bows onto something. Well, you can still use images of bows and you could even create your own unique bow images using things like Mid Journey. Now let's talk about the retro trend because the retro trend, you know, the in my era vibe, right? That whole trend really took off last year. But if you are thinking that you're gonna build a shop around this in my era kind of groovy font trend in 2024, I recommend really rethinking that retro vibe and not building your entire product mix based on something that was really, really popular in 2023 because you're a little bit late to the game if that's the way you go. Instead, I recommend taking a different spin on the retro vibe and going with more of a Western retro theme. Think retro Western instead of just groovy Western this year. Here are some ways that it is displayed. It is not in a rustic way at all. So when you're thinking of retro Western, throw rustic out the window and really think of more modern, fun, whimsical, right? So here it is with some two-tone pinks with another trend coming up. I'm not gonna call it out here. There is another 2024 trend that is actually woven into this product, hint. You can even see with things like stickers, right? Again, the two-tone pink, very popular. Another thing we're seeing, you know, even on slippers, again, with the two-tone pink, but using words like yeehaw, right? And keep in mind the fonts here, right? The fonts are more of a Western inspired font than that classic groovy in my era font that we saw last year. We even see this coming into play through accessories. So here's an example of a match stick holder, right? It, it is coming into play in the most subtle kind of home accessories as well. We even see this coming into play with candles, and I think we will see it with vases as well. You know, a cowboy boot, it could be a great holder for something, so think about that. So last year, you know, it was a lot of daisies, right? Daisies, I don't think they're going away, but this year, really think about that cowboy boot. Here's some clip art that you can put on your print-on-demand products, and it says small town smoke show, right? So um, that back print, very trendy, but the fonts, keep in mind the fonts, it still has that 
retro kind of wave to it, but the fonts are much more Western inspired than just that classic kind of in my era groovy style. Here's another product on Etsy, print on demand. It says, let's go girls again with that classic kind of retro Western cowboy boot and that's front and center. Now keep in mind, 2024 trends, you cannot put them on mock-ups that are not trendy. You absolutely, if you're print on demand, you've got to update your mock-ups as well as your designs for 2024. Do not use mock-ups that you were using in 2018 and think that they're going to work for you in 2024. As you update your shop with new trends, you have to update your mock-ups as well. And a big thing with this is fit because fit is something that does trend differently at different times. So here you can see a lot of that oversized fit, very popular right now, and I don't see that going away next year. All right, the next trend for 2024 is the color gradients. Now, color gradient is very different than ombre. So ombre is more of a seamless kind of fading of colors. The color gradients that we're going to see is in much more of a stripe format. So clear breaks between the colors, but still a gradient. So think about like a paint chip, for example. Here are some examples of color gradients. It's almost like the shades of the rainbow on this. Each bead is a specific color. You can see this also happens with artwork. It's almost like layers of colors. So strips of colors top to bottom on something with different words being different colors. Here's a really cool trendy Australian brand that is showing this color gradient in coasters. The way this would have been done maybe 10 years ago is that ombre effect where there's no clear division between the shades. But here, this is done in a very 2024 trending way because there are clear divisions and lines for your eye between the colors. We're even seeing it with places like Anthropology, where they are taking more of a stripe trend that will be happening um, with this color gradient trend. It's not ombre, but each strip is a unique color, a specific shade. This is very on trend for 2024. All right, the last two ways I wanna show you how this can be done is if maybe you don't have the ability to do this color gradient trend, you can still showcase this in your shop by including different products that are different colors that maybe create their own color gradient next to each other. So you're showing multiple products in the same photo, as you can see with these like napkins from Anthropology, or as you can see with these towels from Pigment, this shows a color gradient in its own. So don't feel like you have to have all the colors on one product Product, you can still play with this trend through your thumbnail photos and just include different products that are different colors together in the same photo. Now let's talk about another trend, which is wavy designs. I am starting to see wavy designs everywhere, but not as much on Etsy yet. But because Etsy is always late to the game with trends, this is one that I foresee coming over to Etsy. So I'm seeing this wavy trend happen in some very whimsical ways, but also some much more sophisticated ways that create a more elevated feel. So I'm going to show you the whole spectrum of this. So here's an example of like a puffy makeup pouch or something like that. You can see it has some very like loud pastels and you can see that it is a very whimsical, youthful, playful way that this wavy trend is shown. Here's another way that is a little bit more subtle and it is these wavy hair clips. Hair accessories will be very big again in 2024 and here's a combination of, of a hair clip with that wavy design. And it is much more subtle in the colorway. I would say it is the wavy trend slightly elevated. Okay, here's a very whimsical way to have this more wavy trend play out and it is through a journal. It also shows the color gradient trend. So it's combining both of those along with a little bit of that retro vibe. You can have this wavy trend play in pretty much any type of product, whether it be mugs, pillows, bedding, wall art, notebooks, totes, really anything you can imagine. Here's this wavy trend on mugs. So you can see with that combination with the daisies, it's a very retro vibe. And clear mugs, those are another thing to keep your eye on this year. Here's an example of this on Etsy, a wavy retro wall decal. It also plays with the color gradient trend. So it is combining both of those trends. I think this could be something that we see in kids' rooms and playrooms and nurseries in 2024. And here's a much more elevated way that we're seeing the wavy trend and that is through kitchen utensils. So you can see here, this is a serving fork and a knife from Anthropology, very on trend, and it's done in a beautiful handcrafted teak material. It's a very sophisticated way to play in this wavy trend. Here's a, a much more playful way that you can see it in wall art. So we will see this in 
prints and even cards and maybe even some wedding trends. Um, I, I think we might see this play out in a lot of party decor, uh, event decor, things like that. And here's a much more sophisticated way that we are seeing this wavy trend. And here it is as a the frame around a mirror. So I foresee instead of just things being rectangular or circular, we might see some different types of edging on everyday items like mirrors. Now let's talk about another trend and that is the checkerboard print trend. We saw this you know, start to play out in 2023, but I think it will become even larger in 2024 based on where we are seeing it right now. So this checkerboard trend, it can be done in both a retro way, oftentimes mixed with the wave trend, but it can also be done in a very preppy way. As we can see here with anthropology, with the knotted headband, again, hair accessories trending in 2024, you can see that checkerboard trend play out within different aesthetics, which means it can serve different customers. It just depends on how you execute this. Here we see it again in hair accessories, where we see it on claw clips. So the checkerboard trend making its way again into the hair accessory world. Again, another accessory for the head, um, hats. You can see this hat is in a very neutral kind of brown and off-white. Browns, very much you wanna keep your eye on the brown tones. Now here is a much more everyday way that we see the trend and it's through kitchen towels. Again, with these kind of burnt orange, kind of with brown undertones, but it is kind of more preppy and classic in the way it's executed. Here is the checkerboard trend combined with the wave trend. And it comes across very retro in this way. So not necessarily like traditional classic retro, but more groovy retro. And here it is again, coming through accessories. So fun socks that are high quality, that is another trend you could look into. So you see the checkerboard trend combined with an olive green tone, which is also a color to keep your eye on. You could put that checkerboard on pretty much anything. You could put it on mugs, you, sh you could put it on apparel, you could put it on accessories, on hats, you could put it on wall art, you could use it as like the background behind maybe customized name signs or personalized items. You could do the checkerboard trend with engraving, that would be really unique. So, so many ways to play in that checkerboard trend. So these are the first five trends that will make you rich on Etsy in 2024. If you want to know the next five trends, go to the link that is posted in the comments and it's also in the description and click on that and it will take you to the next five trends for 2024. And the next five trends have some great visuals for things that you can actually put right into your shop. If you wanna see more trend videos like this, which I have never actually done, definitely let me know in the comments so that I can continue to bring you value in this way. All right, I'll see you guys over in part two. I've gone from about $1,500 to $2,000 in revenue a month to currently before the month's finished $4,200 in revenue. I only joined multi six figure um, Etsy Blueprint about four weeks ago now. 